So there are a lot of people who are probably new to the area and don't know about hurricane kits, or maybe you've been here and you haven't looked at your hurricane kit in a while. Katie has a list of items you do not want to leave out of your kit and something you can do with your phone now before a storm strikes. Hurricanes are nothing new to Floridians, but as life gets busy, it's an important reminder to get hurricane ready now. And nothing prepares you and your family faster than a proper updated kit full of supplies needed to keep you safe if you find yourself in harm's way. I tell people all the time, it's not if, it's when the next hurricane's going to hit. Hurricanes are inevitable, and being prepared early, especially here in Florida, is absolutely necessary. According to Florida's chief financial officer, Jimmy Petronas, Hurricane Ian generated over 160,000 insurance claims. So it's a good idea to have early documentation of the before, before the after occurs. When you get home, it'll take you all of a solid 10 minutes. Take your phone and shoot a video of your house. Just walk around. Take a video of your house. Make note that there's no trees on my house right now. Make note that I have no broken windows. Make note where your trees are in your yard. But don't stop outside. Do the exact same thing inside. Your floor coverings, your TV, and just email it to yourself. Put it in a virtual place. Then comes the hurricane preparedness kit. Typically, a kit includes water, one gallon per person per day, food of the non-perishable variety, easy to prepare items, a flashlight, a battery powered or hand crank radio, extra batteries, a first aid kit, your essential medications, a multi-purpose tool like a Swiss Army knife, sanitation and personal hygiene items, and you'll also want copies of personal documents, medical information, proof of address, your deed or your lease to your home, passports, birth certificates, and insurance policies. And finally, cell phones with chargers or extra battery packs, family and emergency contact information, extra cash, and extra fuel for your generator and car. The head of the National Hurricane Center says you've got to do these things now. You want to think about all that now. You don't want to be trying to figure that out in the days leading up to a storm when there's already going to be enough stress and enough uh, and, you know, difficult decisions you might have to make. Remember, if you already have a kit but haven't checked it in a few years, it's highly suggested to look at the expiration dates on items and make sure the batteries are still reliable. Isn't that the truth? I know. You know. We harp on this, and people go, yeah, 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 until the storm hits. Oh, <laughs> exactly. yeah. And they're like, oops, forgot my kit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or your charger or anything That's else. Yeah, for Usually sure. it's like, oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, yeah. and, I mean, it is the first official day of hurricane the season. First day. And already we have a little activity in the Gulf. So, I mean, you can't wait. You need to get yeah. ready now. Yeah. These things can pop up anywhere. And we know that even one storm, I don't care what they predict, one storm, it can wipe you out if it comes in the right way. So, yeah, the kit's really important. You know, we're stressing it. We'll see who listens. I hope everybody does. You know, batteries too. expire, foods expire. Yeah, don't they make yeah. foods, though, that you can, like, like, that space food that never expires. <laughs> if only. I'm not sure how tasty that is. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tang. <laughs> Isn't that the powder? Yes. Oh, trust me, between that and spam. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Right. But you know, we got to stoop where we got to stoop. You got to stay safe. <laughs> right. I think I'd starve, you know. <laughs>